What's going on y'all, it's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some Frank Dukes, Kingsway Music Library type samples. You know, these very vintage, jazzy, soulful type samples. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight to the video. So the first thing I started with was this Rhodes from Contact. Now I don't have the uh, preset pulled up because I think I deleted it or something, but uh, I have it rendered out right here and it sounds like this. So yeah, very, very simple chords. I didn't even add any effects to it. And then uh, I also pulled up this contact right here. Uh, it's called Shades. Um, this is what the MIDI looks like, but again, I don't have it, uh, but I have it rendered out right here. And to this, I added some effects. So I'm just play it and then I'm gonna show you guys the effects. So the effects were a EQ just to clean it up a bit. I added this uh, Reels um, plugin right here. Uh, then I went in Valhalla Supermassive. Uh, I used these settings, a Valhalla delay, turned down the mix. And then finally a Decapitator. It was just to add some saturation, add uh, a bit more character to the sound. Um, and then next up what I did, I went into contact again and I picked this uh, Scarby Rickenbacker bass and I just followed the uh, bass notes and yeah. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Then I went into the Mellotron uh, from Arturia and I picked this April Showers preset and I just added these uh, notes right here. So yeah, as you can see, I, you, I just followed the, the chords. Um, the notes from the chords and uh, yeah, then I went into contact again and I picked this uh, Juval flute. Oh wait, no, I think I picked the strawberry flutes from Me the Mellotron and I wanted to layer them, but I didn't end up doing so. Uh, but here's the Mellotron flute. I added a EQ just to cut the noise off because uh, you know the Mellotron has some noise. Uh, then the low end as well. And then a Valhalla Vintage Verb where I turned down the mix and I used this these settings right here. Uh, and then uh, next I went in, I opened up Contact again. I picked this Malin Flux ARP 1606. Uh, I think it's like the fourth video I'm using Malin Flux in, but <laughs> whatever. And I basically uh, played these right here. So yeah, with that, I added an EQ again, just to clean it up a little bit. And then a half time with a uh, half loop. And uh, this is what it sounded like. Then uh, finally, I went into Arcade and I um, went to this Leap of Faith um, library. And I just played these very simple notes right here. Just, it's just this. So yeah, to that I added a couple of effects. I added an EQ again, just to clean up the vocals. A fruity love filter, just to kind of, you know, uh, take up, down some of the top frequencies. A Vahla vintage verb um, with the mix down to 57% and a fruity reverb um, just to, you know, add some reverb. When I said uh, take down some of the top frequencies, I meant just to filter it and just so that it, it sounds a bit more like, it just sounds filtered, sounds a bit more kind of underwater type. And uh, yeah, the, the, it sits more in the background of the mix uh, rather than the, at the front. Uh, and then I rendered, yeah, I, I rendered most of these as audio files and I rearranged my sample that way. 
And um, this is the final sample. So yeah, pretty much that's the whole sample. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.